The following segment is sponsored by Creative Society. Veterinary medicine today is predominantly a female profession, but Dr. Donna and Craig Lambert, along with members of their team from Creature Comforts Veterinary Resort and Suites, are taking steps to increase the diversity. They're joining us today. Good to see everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First, uh, Dr. Donna, Craig, talk about what diversity means for veterinary medicine and why it's so important. Well, diversity just means differences, and we definitely love to celebrate the differences in, in each other. Um, you're right. You're right about veterinary medicine being it's 80% female-dominated. Most veterinary students are female. I would say I think at, at one of the most recent statistics was 93% of veterinarians are Caucasian. So it's, I feel like you know we want to promote diversity in this field so much, but the key is how do we do that? Like how do we get the word out to maybe that third and fourth grade student in a minority school who may never even get to go to the vet? You know, he doesn't know what, what it means to be a veterinarian. So we want to promote that to even the youngest of our community. Um, and we, you know, we just really care about that. Um, now, Tevin, Sabian, you're members of the team at Creature Comforts. Tell us what attracted each of you into animal care. Well, fortunately for me, I had the the, um, the privilege, I guess you could say, of growing up and being around a whole bunch of different farm animals and whatnot. So doing that, I got to see people with tending to stuff like cows and whatnot, seeing how they actually cared for them throughout the day and make sure that their needs were fulfilled before theirs were as well and um, you know about maybe three years ago I got the privilege of being a dog from a pet store and I really got to see from the vet side of things how they jumped into action if an animal was in need for anything you know and so once I left there I just adamantly knew that I definitely wanted to continue some line of work where I could assist any animal in any way I could you know and I finally here at Creature Comforts. So. Cool. Very good. What about you? Yeah and you know, I've I've grown up with dogs of some sort in my house like always my entire life as far as I can remember and so I've just always had like a love for dogs and just animals in general like not specifically dogs but um yeah like I've just I've always loved animals I've enjoyed like playing with taking care of and like I just, I have like a kind of a nurturing like personality and so I enjoy like making sure that these dogs are take taken care of and like you know like Great. that they have what they need and that they're okay and all that stuff and yeah and now I'm here. <laughs> then you've ended up in the right place for now. Um, we no. hear talk about barriers to diversity in veterinary medicine. Dr. Donna, what are those barriers? Well, I mean, I think it starts, you know, when kids are really young. Like I said, maybe they um, economically cannot take their pet to a veterinarian or they are not in a school situation where they're given the opportunity to study animal science or even some of the basic sciences like biology um, and uh, zoology. Those are all animal related fields of study. So I think, you know, the problem for me starts early in the home. We need to expose little kids. Yeah, and we do that here at Creature Comforts. I think it's important to note that getting into vet school is like making it in the NBA. So we don't try to short sell it. I mean, there's just a, a few thousand people a year that get into vet school uh, worldwide in the United States. So it's a staggeringly difficult thing to do. So what I do is I do every possible career day that I can. Um, and I speak to these kids throughout the county and I take Lily or I've taken Scout and we have a great time. But I look those kids in the face and how many want to be a veterinarian? And a bunch of them do, especially in elementary school. Hey, you can do it. You can be or do anything you want to be or do. It's just going to take a ton of work. It is so hard. And I'll, I'll promote the teachers and say four-year degree, master's degree, working on their, you know, their doctorate. I mean, it's staggering what they're around as far as these kids go. They've got teachers that have already set the bar really high. So I just look at them in the face and say, hey, yeah, we've got our issues in America. We argue just like you ever argue with your siblings. They're all like, oh, yeah, my brother, you know. So they can relate to that. And I just tell them, work hard. You can be or do anything. And at the end of those sessions, those teachers will ultimately, and it's happened many, many times, almost with tears in their eyes, say, wow, you're probably the first male that's ever told them that they could be or do anything in their life outside of school. And I know that about you. You're proactive. You're out there at those career days, and, and you're ready to talk about this with anybody who will hear it. Um, but tell us right now a little bit about Creature Comforts and, and how you guys are doing these days. 
Wow, we're staying busy. I mean, I think these guys will attest. You know, the day camp's picking up. The boarding has been crazy. Thank goodness uh, we've all been healthy. We're very thankful for that. We're still, we've still got a closed lobby, so we're trying our best to, to continue to protect the public. But, man, the vet side is honestly as busy as they've ever been. Um, we need to hire more people. Um, so these are good problems to have in a, in a crazy 2020 year. So we're, we're hanging in there. Well, absolutely. Um, we love the talk on diversity and what you all are doing. And people can learn more at CreatureComfortsResort.com or by calling the number on the screen. Thanks so much, all of you, for being here. We look forward to checking in with you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Margaret.